we have a pretty interesting problem here. We're asked to find k that makes this function continuous everywhere. So let's take a look at this. First of all, when x is less than 2, we just have a parabola. So that's easy enough to, to draw in here. Okay, so when x is less than 2, we have this parabola. Of course, when x actually is 2, it's not the parabola anymore. That's why there's a hole there. When x is greater than or equal to 2, we have kx minus 6, which is the, just the equation of a line, where k is the slope, k is the slope here, and uh, and this is the line. Okay, that, oh, and, and k, that's what we're trying to find. All right, so we don't know anything about this line because we don't know its slope. But but it is a line, and what we, what we know is that a line is continuous everywhere. So the only place that this function might not be continuous is right at 2, because a parabola is continuous everywhere and a line is continuous everywhere. So again, the only place this function might not be continuous is when those two things meet. So we want to find a k that forces them to meet. Not like this, because that's not continuous, but something maybe more along the lines of, of this. Or even this would work. It's just, all it has to do is be continuous. Okay, so let's see if we can go about trying to find that, pro, uh, that k. And we know that there's three conditions that need to be met for a function to be continu continuous. The first condition is f of x must be defined. Must be defined. Okay, here that condition we can check right off the list because when x is 2, oh sorry, this should, this should have read f of 2. So let me that should read f of 2 because 2 is the place that we're testing that's defined because when x is 2 we just plug it into this line and, and we're gonna get an answer okay the second condition is the limit as x approaches 2 must exist and this is gonna be the bulk of our work so we're going to break this up down into the two separate limits. The limit as x approaches 2 from the left hand side and when we're coming from the left the function is x squared so that's the function that we're going to use for this limit. And then the limit from the right hand side so the limit as x approaches 2 oops, 2 from the right hand side and when we're coming from the right well then th now we have the equation of the line so that's what we're going to use kx minus 6. Now these things have to be equal in order for this limit to exist. So how are we going to force them to be equal? Well one thing we can solve this limit right here we just plug that 2 in and we know it's equal to 4. So as long as this limit from from the right hand side is equal to 4 then the limit exists because the limit from the left and the right hand side will be the same. So now all we have to do is, is solve. So we're going to plug this 2 in and, and move from there. So this will be k times 2 minus 6 equals 4. Add 6 to both sides and we get 2k equals 10. Of course that means k is equal to 5. So when k is equal to 5 the limit exists and the limit is equal to 4. When k is equal to 5 the limit as x approaches 2 of f of x is equal to 4. Okay, so let me erase that work now. So we found a k that makes that limit exist and now to ensure that it's continuous we just have to have to meet one more condition. And the third condition is that the limit as x approaches 2 of the function must equal f of 2. And this will just be a, a quick and easy check. So we've, we've satisfied the first two conditions, now we've got to check this last one. And to check that this is true, well we know that the, what the limit is, that's equal to 4, that's what we found, so f of 2 must be equal to 4. 
So what is f of 2? Well, we plug it into our line. And, and that's up here. So we know k is 5, so now we just have to do 5x minus 6 is equal to 4, but it's not just x, we plug the 2 in. And we end up with 10 minus 6 is equal to 4, 4 is equal to 4. So the limit and the function are equal. Check that off, and this function now is continuous everywhere, as long as k is equal to 5. So we found our k. k is equal to 5 and the problem is over. Now, just to show you something, if we were to let this, this line continue in, in both directions, we, it would look something like this with the slope of, a slope of 5. Well, that makes sense because the y-intercept is negative 6. And so we knew that the, the it, or we could have known if we had thought about it, we could have known that the function needed positive slope for it to reach this point. Because we knew when, when x was 0, if we were allowed to, to be looking at this line, it would hit negative 6. Okay, so I don't want to confuse you. If what I said is confusing, don't worry about it. I'm, I was just giving you some intuition that we, we could have known that the slope at least had to be positive. Okay, I'll see you in the next video.